I was in some kind of a huge cavern high up, almost like an enclosed stadium. It was dark inside and I was crawling along the edge, not wanting to fall off. I had some bracelets with me in a bag and a man was there. He wanted me to see what was on the walls of the cavern so my eyes were open to see what would have been misunderstood as stone engravings, but they were people who seemed to be carved in stone. The man said, they are praying from the four corners of Alaska. There were myriads of them and they were praying hidden. I hollered. The man knew it was glorious for me to see this and he acknowledged so. As I crawled through to the other side, it got easier, and I experienced the way to get through without falling over the edge, because it was a deep, deep fall. I commented on a garment bag I saw while crawling along the edge that was lying there that had pretty necklaces hanging outside the bag. They were colorful, like a red one and a blue one, and I wanted them. He told me that someone had left this, but she'd be back. What's, what's interesting is that once I got to the other side, I realized that I too had left something, my bracelets. So I set out to retrieve them since I figured out an easier way to get back there. That was the end of the dream. Okay, so let's see if we can remember this. So it starts out in a cavern like a stadium, Kinda. but it's this cavern and you're being led by this guy um, but there's a ledge that's right there that you have to be very careful because it's a very deep Like I'm fall. crawling. Yeah, I'm crawling. not walking. Mm -hmm. Now, is it dark in the cavern? It's dark in the cavern. It's high up in the sky. It's like, it's this big, huge, huge. It's real deep down. If you look down, you're like, oh, and I'm crawling. It's not even that he's leading me. It's just that he's there. Okay. I'm, like, I'm crawling really slowly, freaking out, thinking, oh, my gosh, i got to be careful, you know. Yeah. And so... Okay, and then you have this bag that has these bracelets mm -hmm, in it that mm -hmm. you're taking with mm -hmm. you. And then he points out these things that are on the wall that could have looked like engravings on the wall. But as you look closer and you have to really pay attention to them, you realize that they're actually people. And you're told or you know that they're from the four corners of Alaska and they are praying. They're right. They're praying. They were people. They looked like they were frescoes at first, even though it was dark. But then like my eyes were open, like there was, there was all of a sudden like light in the cavern. And I saw, and I didn't know if they were people, but he, it's like I got the understanding they were people and they're praying. And I screamed because it was so glorious. And he, he admitted, he like, he was like acknowledging, well, this is really special that you get to be here, that you yes. get to recognize this. Yeah. And you continue on your journey, still being very careful, and you come to a garment bag, mm -hmm. and it has these necklaces that are around it, and you realize they're colorful. There's a blue one mm -hmm. and a red one, you're like, that's really beautiful. And you ask him about it, and mm -hmm. he said, oh, um, someone left that, but she's going to be coming back to mm -hmm. get it. And so you continue on, and you make it out into mm -hmm. the open area, and you realize, wait a second, I left my bracelets mm -hmm. back there, I need to go back. But now you know there's actually an easier way for you to get back there than the way that you originally came, and that's right. where the dream is. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. Okay. So what you're going to do is pause your video, come up with a title for this dream. What's the focus? What are your sub-focuses? What are your details? And then write out an interpretation. Now, I, I know it's real easy just to figure it out in your head and think about what it might mean, but challenge yourself. Actually write out an interpretation for this dream like you would write it as if you were writing to Carmen. And once you're ready, go ahead and start your video again and see what we get here at the lab. <laughs> We got a couple possibilities that we can go with. Well, let's diagram it out and see if we can change all of that. So welcome back. <laughs> we're we're going to diagram this one out and see where we end up. So this doesn't like to stay. So what do we come up with for a title? 
Cave of Wonders. Cave of Wonders, okay. Let's do that. <laughs> Cave of Wonders. Who or what is our focus? The dreamer. And that's our focus. Subfocus. The carvings on the, on the wall. Yeah. The carvings. I'm going to put the wall. Yeah. Because I could write a whole paragraph to describe that oh, thing. Yeah. I'll remember everything just by writing the wall. So, I mean, that's a subfocus. What else? The passage. The, the passage or the path. Right, because that's very important because the whole dream, she's trying to be very careful that she doesn't fall off because of this danger. So that's an important piece uh, of this dream. Anything else essential? Jewelry. Two different bags of jewels. Right? Two different bags of jewelry. And that could be a subfocus or detail. And, and part of the reason is, if you leave it out, it doesn't change the plot of the dream but it, it does change the texture of the dream. So you could consider that a subfocus or an important detail. It, it could go either direction with that. So let's start out. What about the guide? Yeah, the guide. The guide is the important piece. Yeah, yeah that's the other important piece. So, but let's put the bracelets here and We'll put our guide here. The guide is a sub-focus. But off this path, we also have the necklace. And where would you put the portraits that she sees on the wall that allow the light? The wall? So, okay. off of the wall, I would put um, the light. And... From that, I know, I'm going to remember the fact that at first, it didn't look like much. But as she began to really look at it, all of a sudden, the light came and she beat and she saw what it was. Now, there's another important detail on that. What was it that? Right, so it's, let's, let's put intercessors. And that could be, I mean, that's because it's part of the wall. We'll make it a detail of the wall. But also, Alaska. Yeah. Anything else important? Can I just add one other thing? The necklace is more actually um, coming out of a garment bag. So yes. Yeah, so a garment bag. And then the necklaces, two necklaces were like sticking out of that. Yeah, so there was a garment bag. You couldn't see everything that was right. in it, but right. you also recognized that there were necklaces that were on it. One was red, one was blue. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, give you a secret. That's one of those. If you spend too much time trying to figure out what those necklaces are, mm -hmm. you're going to get caught up in the details and you're going to miss the main point of the dream. Because again, you, you, when you, you are interpreting the dream, you want to step back. What's the main points? Our main points are the sub-focuses, right? That she's in this huge place, but it's dark. She's on a path. She has to be very careful. This wall gets lit up, and she needs to go back for something. But it's going to be easier the second time. Now, that's your basic Point. If you get those pieces, you're going to have the main, the, the main interpretation of the dream. And then everything else will fill in and give some understanding and some meaning to it. So let's ask this question. The whole dream, other than when this light, the wall lights up, it's dark. Is this a dream from the enemy? Is this a demonic yeah. dream? Is what, what's... No, so why is it dark? What, what, what is that about? You're in a cave. A cave is dark. A cave is dark, but then it's also light. It's just something 
Yet. Something that hasn't been revealed. What did you have? Dark night. Dark night of the soul. Mm-hmm. Did I hear something else? Hidden. 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 And, and one of the keys, a lot of times a dream will give you the clues to interpret itself. The light. What happened when the light came? Praise. Praise. Revelation. Praise. So the opposite of the light in this particular dream, it's most likely going to be talking about a lack of revelation. Now, that could be because of the dark night. Um, it, it just could be saying that she's, she's in a place where she's not getting a lot of revelation about the path that she's on. And she's trying to be very careful as she walks it out. So it would be more about the lack of revelation. Now, in the process, now I know in the actual dream, the guide wasn't really guiding her. This, this being person was just there with her, but helps her to recognize and gives her instruction on how to respond to the necklaces. So I, I use the word guide for that. What would this guide represent? Yeah, Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit could be some type of heavenly help, mm-hmm. um, some type of a messenger. I'm just gonna write angel, and we could capitalize the A, make it the angel of the Lord, Holy Spirit, or we could leave that small. It's not super clear. Which one? We know it's from God. It's bringing clarity, bringing revelation, bringing understanding. So they're in the midst of darkness, in the midst of lack of understanding, there's still guidance that's happening. And so even though there's not as much revelation. Um, so this wall, what would this wall represent? Now, again, thinking about the dream itself in the context of the dream. In the dream, she's going through this dark place, right? And this is right there. It's in the dark place, but she's not paying attention to it until it's pointed out to her. And then she begins to put her focus on it. It's just something that's in the environment, right? It's part of this path that she's not clear about or she wasn't clear about that is going to become more clear. And so the writing's on the wall, mm-hmm. right? It's obvious once it's seen, but until it's seen, it's hidden. And, and what is the thing that is hidden? Intercessors. Intercessors. That there are people praying for this path. She's on the path. She's not the only one that's gone down this path, but she's on this path. And so she's included in this prayer. There's people that are praying for her. Why Alaska? Barrenness. Barrenness. Wilderness. Wilderness. Mm-hmm. It's unattainable, unachievable. Unattainable. It's really far off. Really far off because it's so far away. Where the, where, where the gold is? North to Alaska is where the gold was. That's North to Alaska, one of the big gold rushes. So yeah, after California there. dried up, everyone, everybody was going up to. Still, they're still finding gold today. Yeah. Okay. Now there's one other piece to Alaska. Sometimes things will have meaning based off of the dreamer, not just what it is by itself. Alaska is the only state in the United States that this dreamer has not visited. So there's, there's a lot of places where she could expect support and prayer from, but the prayer and support that she's getting is not coming from any place that she's ever been before. Right. So now you get again, you get too much into the Alaska and you miss that piece of it. And so you you can't always ask the dreamer. I mean, obviously, you just had your video off. You didn't get the opportunity to ask your dreamer that. But when you're talking to somebody and you you come up into a, a situation like that and it's like that, well, it just kind of fits. Maybe it doesn't fit. Just asking, you know, what is Alaska to you? that can really help you to understand what an element can mean in a dream. All right, so we have, it's from an unknown place, right? Or an unexpected source, an unexpected place. But she's not gonna recognize that it's there unless she puts her attention to it. Now, she has bracelets, which are jewelry, right? But she sees somebody else has also gone along the same path that had necklace, which is also jewelry. 
The whole point of this is just that other people have gone on the same journey before. She's not alone. She's not the only one that's gone through this. There's other people that have gone through. And in recognizing that there's other people that's gone through, she realizes how similar her journey is to theirs. Because it wasn't until after she finds out about the necklaces that she realized that she left her bracelets behind. Was that making sense? Mm -hmm. What's the significance of the jewelry? The significance of the jewelry? So jewelry is some type of an ornament. It's something that's put on um, that beautifies, could be talking about glory, could talk <coughs> about gifting, could be talking about um, gifts. I, I'm not sure exactly in this particular one. Can I say something? I Please. got the sense in the field that had to do with some anointing. Some Going anointing. Back, had to do with an anointing. The giftings. Thought, oh, yeah. I thought, oh, I, you know, I think I like that. I want that. And, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so the giftings of others that have gone along, which yours is slightly different. Yours right. is bracelets, not necklace, but it's similar. But bracelets and necklaces go together to make up the whole outfit. The whole, yes. <laughs> I didn't wear my bracelets. Well, He's been paying attention to his wife. <laughs> Smart man. That's exactly right. His wife taught him well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's get a couple people just to put this all together. How would you say this to the dreamer? Okay. So I would just say that you were on a journey. It seems to me that you are kind of concerned about this journey and that the significance of, like you said, the jewelry, that, that people have been down this path before. It's a journey that, that is not uncommon to people. And that was kind of reassuring. Just that, um, you, that you, you know, you have people praying for you. You have people that are there for you. You know, they're, they're sending you on the way. I didn't, that's about all I got about it. The detail about the Alaska kept coming up, but I didn't even remember it. So we were, you know, I would have never caught that Alaska piece. But that's just, I mean, that's basically what I would say. Just, you know, that you've gotten some revelation here. That I, I honestly thought when I kept seeing that wall, I was thinking like you're running into a wall when it comes to revelation. But you still have people back here praying for you. Those people are in that wall. They're, they're just praying for you. The people are there for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Thank, Thank you. you. It, it is a position of humility in some ways, but also in, in the actual dream, why was she crawling? She was trying to be very careful not to fall off this ledge. Mm -hmm. So it, it was more about just yeah. staying, yeah, it, it's about being very careful, not taking any risks mm -hmm. and, and just realizing I, I've, I've, you know, I mean, walk by faith, not by sight. Right, she's just crawling along, but she's trying to be very careful not to not to fall as she goes through the season. So like baby steps. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's baby steps. It, it's um, I mean, it, it's that it's it's a lot harder to lose your balance, mm -hmm. right? So it's safer. Um, I mean, is is there humility? I mean, it, it not that there's not in the in the dreamer, but I don't know that that fits in here. Um, more grounded, closer to the ground, just sticking to foundations. It's also dark. Yeah, and it's also dark, so you, you can't see, and so you're feeling as, as, you're, as you're moving. That is a part. That is a part. If you've got revelation on it, you put it in there. So like, like the comment earlier, you... you um, Nancy had mentioned that she didn't get the whole thing about Alaska, so she would have left that out there. You know, if you leave that out of the dream, you don't miss the dream interpretation. The fact that the intercession is coming from a place that she wouldn't expect or, or that is unlikely, I mean, that's helpful, but if the fact that she knows that there are people praying, that's what she really needs to know, right? So it, it modifies this. So if you don't get this, as long as you've got this, you're, you're still there. And that, that's why we say details are not essential, but that doesn't make them unimportant. Does that make sense? So if you have the revelation, you add them back in once you've got your framework. But if you don't have the revelation on a detail, as long as you've got the, the main points, you're going to be able to give the dreamer what they need to be able to understand the dream. Yes.
Well, the dream itself, uh, I'm not sure whether it's saying that she has completed this journey or that she's going to complete the journey. But she doesn't have to wonder on whether or not it's going to be complete one way or the other. So whether she's through it yet or she's not through it yet, either way, it's clear that she's going to get through it. And she's not going to lose anything because even the things that it seems like she's lost, she's going to be able to go back through and it's going to be a lot easier to get them back than it was in the first place to go through it. That's good. Yeah. Well, and I would, I would put it this way. The intercession is for the path. She's included in it because mm -hmm. she's on the path. Okay. Because the intercessors are there in that environment, that they're posted on that wall. There are people that are on the wall, which is the watchman on the wall. Of, yeah. There are people that are on the wall that are watching that path, and she is not the only <laughs> one that has gone through that, wall, that path. So she's not the only one that's being prayed for, but the path is being prayed for and she's included in that because she's on the path. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Because yeah, that's, that's important because in the dream, you don't want to say that those intercessors are only for her because they're about the path because they're in the environment of the path. So yeah, good, good point to, to dial that in. Yeah, so there's the encouragement there. There's nothing in the dream that says that the dreamer made a choice that caused something to happen. So you don't want to add that into the interpretation. Now, after you're done with the dream interpretation, um, if that's something like you're feeling, oh, there's something to that. Hey, do you mind if, if I pray about something real quick? Father, I just ask that she goes through this path that she wouldn't lose the bracelets that you've given her. She wouldn't lose the thing that she's gone through. So then you would respond in that way, but you want to get permission because that's outside of the interpretation. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. So to summarize it all together, if I was going to interpret Cave of Wonders for Carmen. <laughs> great title. Great title. <laughs> that is a great, that is a great title. Great title. <laughs> so Carmen, either you have been or you will be on this path where it seems like there's no revelation. And you're trying to just make it through without falling because you realize that the, the um, what's the right word? Precipitous? The precarious. precarious. That's yeah. what I'm yeah, looking no, for. Thank yeah. you. The precarious yeah. position yeah. that you're in. Right? But God has put guidance around you and he's going to draw your attention to the things that you need. Because in that environment, there are watchmen that have been set on the walls. And they're praying for you. And, and that, that's coming because of the place that you're in. And it's not something that you earned. It's just there because you're there. And, and while you're going through this, you may lose some things, but you're going to get them back. You're going to see other people have gone along the same path and they've lost some things, but they're going to get them back. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about that. Just keep following Keep being careful and respond to what God shows you, and you're going to make it through. Amen. 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 Yeah. That is a fun dream. Yeah.